Well, finding affordable housing in the Denver area is incredibly difficult and frustrating. Now it turns out many people living in homes designated as income qualified shouldn't be there. So now what? Stan Bush met one of those homeowners in Denver's Green Valley Ranch. Stan, boy, they're in a tough spot. Uh, Jim, this situation has hit this neighborhood like a bomb. We saw some neighbors being told today that they were going to have to leave their homes and many others that are just bracing to get that news. When I moved in, had to replace all of the appliances. High school teacher Neil O'Toole says it felt like a miracle when he found this home available in the same neighborhood as his school. It's also been really nice to see the kids in the grocery store, just be part of the community. But he's learned, like dozens of his neighbors, that his home was supposed to be protected under affordable housing guidelines and should have never been offered at $270,000, roughly $80,000 over its cap. Were you ever told during the process that this was a home that you were not qualified to purchase? Not once. In February, O'Toole received a letter from the city saying his home violated the city's affordable housing program, regulations that never came up when he bought it in 2016. It seemed like a regular transaction and just that I was going through the process, so there was never any mention of affordability. You saw potential in this place. I, I had a vision of what I wanted to do. On a teacher's salary, O'Toole was so desperate to find a home in Denver's aggressively unaffordable market that he began writing personal letters to sellers to avoid a bidding war. Now he feels like his home might be stolen from him by the city, and with it, money he saved to buy a home in the first place. Everybody has to live somewhere. Now I'm probably going to have to go back to paying somebody else's mortgage. At this point, the city hasn't told O'Toole what he'll have to do with his home yet, but he has hired a lawyer and is prepared to fight in court. We're live tonight in Denver. Stan Bush covering Colorado first. Thanks.